This is Ajay for Tech Primer. In this video, we are going to see what is a service registry and why do we need service registry. So if you see the modern architecture, so we deploy all our applications into the cloud, right? So these are called the microservices, right? So for example, let's consider this particular case. So we have an application which has a client and we have a REST API, which is a server. So there are three instances of this server deployed in our cloud. However, there is only one client. So this client is going to access this these servers. So how will the client know it has to access uh, the server, right? For example, if you have uh, a client and if you see there are three instances of this application running and these IP addresses will be assigned dynamically by the cloud deployment. So how will the client know that it has to connect to a particular REST API instance? So that is why we need a service registry. So what the service registry does? So all these clients needs to be registered to a common process called the service registry and the client service client can directly connect to the service registry and service registry will now decide which process is free or which process it can redirect to so that is that is the advantage of service registry so if you let's say you consider a, a platform as a service deployment so let's take uh, cloud foundry as an example so let's deploy if we deploy an application into cloud foundry and if you scale the application into three instances all these three instances will be running in three different machines inside the cloud pool. So all these three instances will be having different IP addresses and you won't be able to directly hit that particular instance. And um, internally Cloud Foundry it has a service registry which will route to a different um, instance. So for example let's say we have a client which is outside Cloud, for cloud Foundry and we are, up, uh, we are like using a URL to access these REST API then <clears throat> internally in the Cloud Foundry they have a load balancer which will route it to different instances. So those load balancers works on the round robin fashion but uh, in general let's say inside the Cloud Foundry environment if you want to um, identify which REST endpoint I need to go to so then we can use the service registry. The idea of service registry is that all the service uh, REST API uh, servers register to the service registry and the client can now connect to the service registry and service registry will now decide which particular process or the instance that request should go. So that is why we need the service registry. For example, now Netflix has created um, Eureka. So that is uh, that is a type of implementation of the service registry. So you can add the next, uh, Netflix OSS uh, Eureka library into your uh, application. So let's say we have a Spring Boot application. So you can add the Eureka jars and then we can make the application um, have the service registry out of the box so you don't have to worry about um, creating a separate service registry instance so you create a service registry and all the uh, rest servers should register to that using the eureka eureka jar then our client will be now able to connect to the service registry and service registry will now how many instances of our application is running and it will automatically route our application to uh, that particular instance so that is the significance of the service registry. That's it for this video. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you.